So I received a request to make a video on turbine engines, so that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, first thing, I do believe there are a lot of good examples online uh, explaining these, but um, I'm going to add some details that you can't find in some of them just to try and help uh, make it make sense. So I'm just actually going to start by drawing the whole thing. So we've got the casing of the turbine itself, and first we're going to have a shaft here in the middle. It runs the length, and so we've got this shaft here, and there's going to be a turbine blade connected it, and there's going to be a turbine blade here at the front. Um, so there may be multiple sets of blades uh, on that single shaft on either end and then on top of that these are going to be concentric shafts there's going to be another shaft that revolves around that shaft and that'll have more turbine blades on it and I'll explain why they do this in a second all right and then they'll have even more so as you can see what's happening here is this will be rotating on the inside and then inside of that this green shaft will be rotating with both the turbine with the compressor over here in the turbine. Let's go ahead and label that. So we've got our compressor and we've got our turbine and so what's going to happen is air is going to flow into this compressor and as that air flows in this first shaft is going to be rotating the slowest and it's going to squeeze the air in and then the second shaft will be rotating a bit faster and it's going to squeeze it more and so the air is going to accelerate the entire time it's moving in finally when it gets to this blue shaft it's going to be rotating extremely quickly and still compressing it further so it's getting smaller and moving faster that's the goal then we're going to get into the combustor And there's going to be a bunch of these combustor cylinders uh, moving around, rotating, that are going to be, they're not, they don't, they stay in their place, but they're going to be placed around these shafts. These shafts are going to rotate inside of them. So this air is going to be forced in to these combustor chambers, and fuel is going to be supplied into them. And then you'll have an igniter inside of the combustor, so that creates the combustion. So it explodes, expands, and then it forces that hot air into the turbine. Now the turbine, some of that air will go into rotating these uh, compressor fans over here and sucking in air. The rest of it will be forced out the back at a very high rate, much quicker than the air is being pulled in, and so it will provide a forward thrust. Now, other things you can do with it is you can attach a blade, put a blade right here to an external shaft, attach this to a transmission, and then channel the exhaust out a different area. So you can have that hot air go out. All that hot air is doing is rotating this shaft which is going to connect to a transmission and then it can drive wheels uh, for example tanks use this also helicopters may use this um, what's important to understand here is this combustor it's pretty straightforward basically you suck in air you squeeze it you pinch it you make it go faster it goes in the combustor shoots out very fast and then it rotates powering the compressor and then 
sends more force out the back at a very quick speed, pushing you forward. Um, I'm going to attach another video to this explaining these combustors because they're fairly complicated and they do need an explanation, but make sure you know that there are concentric shafts with different sets of fans so that the air moves quicker as it comes in and then shoots out, drives these fans. The first one will move the fastest, so it will move this one so that the inner one will rotate the fastest. That's why it hits that one first, so that one will be rotating the quickest. The air kind of slows down, so this one will be rotating slower. It slows down a little bit more, and the one on the outside rotates the slowest. That's so that the speed increases as it comes in. And then you can either drive a shaft or have it come out directly and provide forward propulsion. So uh, check out the combustor video that will be attached to this for more information on what goes on in here. It is slightly more complicated than it seems.